Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4. I come into you today with my Wyoming football predictions for the 2019 college football season. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel. It will be greatly appreciated if you do that. I have a subscriber goal of 200 subscribers by August 24th, which I'll love to hit. So go ahead and hit that subscriber button if you're not subscribed already. We're about 50 subscribers away, so go ahead and hit that button. It will be greatly appreciated, and you won't regret it. Uh, so Wyoming football predictions today, uh, we'll go through the pros and cons, the best case and worst case scenario, your three toughest and three easiest games. Then we'll go through the schedule game by game. I'll tell you which games have Wyoming winning and losing, give you a score for each of these games as well, and then give you a final record prediction and a conference record prediction. Uh, one other quick note before I continue, uh, don't hold me to the game by game picks and the scores, just hold me to the final record predictions at the end. Let's start with the pros and cons though. Two pros and one con. Your first pro is the defense. The defense is going to be pretty good this year for Wyoming. Uh, they're going to probably have to lean heavily on their defense. So, to me, that is the one, like, big-time pro for Wyoming. The second, like, really, really big-time pro for Wyoming is their head coach, uh, Craig Bowl. Uh, very good head coach. He gets the best out of his talent. I'm going to um, elaborate on it more here in a second. Um, he recruits really badly. Uh, but he gets the best out of his talent. So it, Wyoming always seems to at least be 5-7 and seven because of Craig Bowl. So he's definitely a pro for Wyoming. Your one con is the talent. You guys recruit very bad. Um, but you, the good news is that you have Craig Bowl that gets the, ba the uh, best out of it. So that's the good news. Now let's go through the best case and worst case scenario. Here's the schedule right here in front of you. The best case scenario is eight and four. Uh, I look at the schedule. I see Missouri on the schedule. I see San Diego State on the road, Boise State on the road, Utah State on the road. Nevada and Air Force aren't going to be uh, pushovers either. You also get Air Force on the road as well. I personally think you're going to lose at least four games this year with the schedule. Worst case scenario, five and seven. I think that's the absolute worst case scenario. Um, I think you have a few give me's versus Idaho, Texas State, uh, UN, and probably UNLV. But outside of that, I mean, maybe New Mexico, maybe Tulsa. And then at, really outside of that, you could lose the rest of these games. So I really think that worst case scenario, five and seven, best case scenario, eight and four. Your three toughest games are Boise State, Missouri, and Utah State. Um, Boise State and Utah State, you get them both on the road. And they're probably your two toughest teams in your division and the Mountain Division and the Mountain West. And then Missouri, your toughest not non-conference uh, game right there. Missouri, probably one of the better teams in the SEC. Your three easiest games are Idaho, UNLV, and Texas State. Idaho used to be an FBS, but they uh, decided to go to the Big Sky Conference. So uh, they went to the FCS. UNLV, terrible team. Texas State, god-awful team. Now let's go through the schedule game by game. I'll tell you which games I have uh, Wyoming winning and losing. First game is Missouri at home. Uh, I think this game is going to go um, back and forth a little bit, but then at the end I do think if you already watched the uh, Missouri football prediction video, I do have Missouri winning this game. 33-20 to 20 Missouri. Uh, Wyoming will play them tough, but at the end, I think Missouri gets the win here. Second game, on the road against Texas State, win. Texas State is terrible, 34-7, Wyoming. Next game, Idaho at home, win. Idaho is terrible, 45-3, yeah, Wyoming in that one. Next game, at Tulsa. Tulsa is a team. They're going to be one of the worst teams in the, in the American, but they're still going to give some of these teams a good fight. I think they'll give Wyoming a good fight, but at the end, I am going to give it to Wyoming by two touchdowns. 31-17, to Wyoming. Next game, UNLV at home. Win. UNLV is terrible. Uh, I picked their coach in the hot seat. I mean, they don't. They seem not to know um, how to win games there. 41-12, to Wyoming in that one. Then you get your first bye week. Every team gets... Uh, yeah, every team gets two bye weeks because of how the calendar aligns with the schedule. Um, so, yeah, then after your bye week, on the road against San Diego State. San Diego State is probably going to be one of the better teams in the Mountain West. 
Uh, they always seem to be one of the better teams in the Mountain West. It's in San Diego. I think you play them really tough. It's kind of low scoring. You play them really tough. But at the end, if you already watched the San Diego State football, football prediction video, I do have San Diego State winning this game by a touchdown, 20-13 to 13 San Diego State. Next game, New Mexico at home. This will be a win. New Mexico is not that good of a football team. They're like a step above UNLV. New I think uh, Wyoming beats them pretty easily, especially at home. 42-17, to 17, Wyoming. Next game, Nevada at home. I'm very high on Nevada. If you already saw the football prediction video for that one, you already know who I have in this one. I think this is going to be a great game. It'll go back and forth. Wyoming's going to play really, really tough. But at the end, I don't know if Wyoming has enough offense to put them over the over the top over Wy uh, over Nevada, and I do have Wyoming losing this game by a touchdown, 31 to 24, Nevada over Wyoming. Then you get your second bye week. Uh, coming off the bye week, you get to go on the road against Boise State. Uh, this will be a loss. I do think you'll play Boise State tough, but at the end, Boise State is just better than Wyoming. Give me uh, Boise State to win this one, 36 to 19. Next game at Utah State, loss. If you already watched the uh, Boise State video, I forgot to say that when I, was set, when I was talking about the Boise State game, but go ahead and watch the Boise State video and the Utah State video. But anyways, Utah State, very good offense. Wyoming just doesn't have the offense to uh, go pound to pound with Utah State's offense. So they, And the game's on the road. Wyoming will lose the game against Utah State, 36-17 to 17, Utah State. Next game is a Friday night game at home against Colorado State. Colorado State, I think, is going to be a little bit better than they were last year. Um, I think they're a, I think they're a step above New Mexico. Uh, but at the end, I did give it to Wyoming by ten points, thirty-one to twenty-one. Uh, Wyoming in this one, kind of a rivalry game. Uh, Colorado State will play them well, but at the end, Wyoming will beat them by ten points, thirty-one to twenty-one. Then the final game at Air Force. Air Force is kind of like on the same level as Wyoming. Middle of the road. I went back and forth with it. Air Force wins that triple option. I gave it to Air Force because the game's in the Air Force by two points. Kind of low scoring. 24 to 22 Air Force. Um, I don't know who's the better team between Wyoming and Air Force. I think they're pretty much even. But at the end, I'm going to just give it to Air Force since it's in the Air Force at the Academy. And Colorado Springs, 24-22. So that's all the game-by-game -game picks there. If you count up all the wins and losses, yeah. I have Wyoming going 6-6 six and six with a 3-5 and five conference record. 6-6 six and six with a 3-5 and five conference record. That's good enough to make a bowl game, uh, which is, seems to be the norm for uh, Wyoming in the past few years. Uh, hopefully, maybe they'll get maybe they'll get over the hump. I mean, they already did get over the hump once. They may, they were recently in a um, Mountain West championship, so when they had Josh Allen at quarterback, but six and six with a three and five conference record. Comment down below, tell me what you think. I always like hearing from you all. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the, to the uh, channel. It would be greatly really appreciated if you do that. Um, Hawaii is up next, and if the uh, Wyoming and Hawaii videos, if they each get three likes, if the Wyoming video gets three likes and the Hawaii video gets three likes, I'll come out with a third football prediction video today. So go ahead and like the and like this video if you want to see a third one today. But what, this is the Wyoming football prediction video. The Hawaii one will be out later tonight. But overall. Six and six with a, with a three and five conference record for Wyoming. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel. It would be great. We appreciate if you do that. Thanks for watching, and this is McDee the Beast signing off.